Hello, it's Claire here. I am the owner of the Little Design Corner and your teacher in these SketchUp courses. And what I wanted to do for the next couple of minutes is just to briefly explain my SketchUp for Interior Design course system, which is made up of two courses, my beginner's course, which you can see here, and my intermediate course, which you can see here. So in the beginner's course, what we do is we look specifically at SketchUp itself. So this is taking your software, which you may have played around with or you may not have, but this is how it opens when you first start, completely blank document. And most people don't know how to draw a line, a rectangle, they don't know how to do anything. And by the end of the beginner's course, what you will learn how to do is this. So this is the exact course model that we use inside the project, inside the course, I should say, and you will learn how to do this project by the end of the course. Now you're more than welcome to bring your own projects and work on your own projects in the course. Lots of students do that, but many find that it's just easier to follow along the step-by-step -step system, following the course project model first, and then perhaps come in and doing the course a second time using your own project. That's all completely up to you uh, with what you would like to do there. So that's the beginner's course and what you learn. In a minute, I'll show you a little bit behind how that all works, the step-by-step -step system and so forth. But let's just move on to briefly showing you what happens in the intermediate course. In that course, what we do is we look at the software that comes free with SketchUp Pro, which is called Layout. And many people don't know about the software Layout, but what you can do in that software is this sort of thing. I'll go back to the beginning and show you, but this is your documentation. So this document was created inside layout. And what you do is you take the drawings that you have done. So this is a SketchUp model that you can see here. And that is brought in automatically. You don't have to redraw anything brought into SketchUp, into layout, I should say, and then you draw up your detailed documentation sets using layout based on your SketchUp modeling. So there's no additional drawing of things. You just use, this is all created in SketchUp. You learn all of that in the beginner's course. And then this particular documentation is what we learn to do using layout inside the intermediate course. So that's the overview of the system. I've got the beginner's course, the intermediate course, and then I also sell a bundle. So you can purchase the beginner's course and the intermediate course together, and you get a bit of a discount that way if you decide to do both courses, which most people do. So let's look at the system itself. So beginner's course, you've got six core modules and what happens is inside each module, as you can see here, you've got a whole lot of lessons and it's just a sequential system. So you simply just start at the very, very beginning, you work your way through and by the end, I promise you that you will have learned how to use SketchUp. And the reason that I am fully confident in that is because I have now taught 14,000 students across my beginner and intermediate courses. And I know that the students that follow the step-by-step -step -step system, they all learn how to use SketchUp. One of the common questions people ask is how long does the course take? And that's really up to you and how fast you learn, how much time you've got to put towards it. Some people do it in a matter of a couple of days. Uh, many people do it in much longer, but I'd say on average, it's probably about a month or so that it takes people to move through the course. So we've got our individual sort of lessons that happen inside each module. And then if you go into a specific lesson, this is what it looks like. So you get a, uh, a, a video where I do the step-by-step -step instructions showing you SketchUp as we go. So you'll see, you know, I work within SketchUp there as we go through and show you step-by-step -step what to do. And then you've got lots of downloads and things that you will get from the resources section of each lesson as well, including a follow along file of SketchUp, of the SketchUp project. So if you ever stuff anything up or whatever, you just pick the file up at the point at where we're up to and you keep going from there. You also have step-by-step -step guides. You've got um, worksheets, all sorts of things. In fact, the course comes with a 90 page workbook and that is basically your um, entire system broken down with your cheat sheets, your overviews, everything that you need to have success in the course. So we've been doing this for a long time. We know how to get our students really good results and every resource that you need is there for you as you go along. So in terms of support, a couple of things. First of all, obviously you've got that workbook. Uh, we've also got an extremely active and helpful SketchUp student group. This is a closed group specifically for our SketchUp students to be able to come in and ask questions and me and Kate, who will be your um, person who's helping you alongside me in, as you move through the course, we are in there every day answering all of our student questions. We also play a fun game of bingo, SketchUp bingo, as we go through the course. So this is just to consolidate your learning. This is completely optional. You do not have to play along with this, but as you can see from the um, Facebook group, people do have a lot of fun with the SketchUp bingo. My aim is to make your learning as 
much fun as possible. SketchUp is a really fun piece of software to learn and to play around with. So I wanted to make the course fun as well. So that's your SketchUp bingo. Your bingo cards are also in your workbook and there's lots of ways that you can get those. So play along with bingo if that's your thing. If it's not your thing, don't worry about it. Um, And that's totally fine. So that is the beginner's course. Along with the actual course, you also have a couple of bonuses. So the first bonus is your renovation project tracker. Now, if you are a professional designer, this may not be something that's useful to you, but if you're a home renovator, a home modeler, a home remodeler, then this may be of use. It's basically a renovation notion template. So you'll be able to track your entire renovation in this template, your budget, your orders, your um, whole sort of like all your ideas that you collect up from different sources. There's all different uses for this. And so that comes completely free with the course. The other thing that comes completely free with the course is a space planning cheat sheet. This has got measurements for students all around the world. And actually that's a really important thing for me to just mention as well. We do have students from all over the world. So of our 14,000 students, they come from everywhere. So we do the entire course in metric and imperial system. You have, um, conversions for both and that's the same with this cheat sheet too so that all comes in the metric and conversion systems as well so that's just another bonus that comes with the beginners course with the intermediate course it's the same deal so it's a slightly shorter course it will be quicker to work through so it's not as comprehensive well it is comprehensive but it's not doesn't take as long to learn how to use layout And your bonuses with the layout course is that you get templates to use for all sorts of things. So you get the um, documentation templates, but we also in the layout course, if I come to the end here, you will learn how to do lighting and electrical plans in that course as well. So that will look something like this by the time you've finished and we've got templates for you for all of that inside that course as well. So that is the full system and that is how it works. There's also one-to-one email support if you need it. Most students don't need it. They get all the help that they need through the Facebook group. But if Facebook's not your thing or um, you're not on there or you have other questions, we will point you towards our one-to-one email support and we can support you over there. So um, all the help that you need will happen as you move through the course. So I think that's everything I need to show you and wanted to show you. We've got a huge resource of other help videos that have just built up over the years of teaching our students sketch up so if you're ever having an issue probably your answer's covered inside the like extra help videos that are there Uh, and we also just to show you have had all of these students come through so these are mostly beginning beginner student um, outcomes so this is what you will learn by the end of the beginners course and as you can see here there's a long scroll of projects. So this is just a hand, you know, not very many of our students who have been through, but you can see people have wonderful things to say about the course. They get really good results. And as I said, we have been doing this for a long time with a lot of students. And I know that if you just follow the system step by step, you too will learn how to use SketchUp and Layout as well. So that's the behind the scenes of the course of how it works of how it um, how you move through it and all of the support and materials that you get with the course if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and I'm more than happy to help answer those for you otherwise hopefully we will see you inside the course soon bye for now